Hi everybody, this is Kyle from SEO Bandwagon. Today we're doing a 30 minute online branding exercise. Uh, my girlfriend is starting a little side hustle for her gluten-free bakery. So we are going after Winter Sweets with a Y. It's an old family name on her for her side, obviously. <laughs> and uh, we're going to looking for wintersweets.com using the beast mode on Namecheap. Um, which we don't actually need to do. Um, we're going to add wintersweets.com to the cart. Um, if you have a big list of domains, beast mode is great. We're just going to go back to the normal one. Winter Sweets, again. We'll see what's available. You can see that's still on the cart. We're looking for ones that are cheap. They're having a sale, um, mostly just to, as an exercise, just to show like how little you need to actually do this. Um, we're looking. You can filter these out here. We're gonna look for some food, top level domains, food and drink. There's nothing here that's really bakery specific or gluten free specific, and these all renew. Uh, pretty expensive, so we're going to pass on all of these, even though some of them are kind of cheap initially. Back down, check popular. It shows like the tip common ones, and we're going to check the sale ones right now. We really just want to get some ones that renew at a low rate. So we're going to just throw in the .us and the .xyz. We're trying to keep this demo pretty short, um, and we're on a time budget, and we're on a small, just shoestring budget here. We're not trying to go all out, and I probably will pick up a couple more of these later, but for just the sake of brevity and showing everyone how to set the domain records, three is very good. Okay, so just checking through, let's see, we got 1450 in the cart and we're going to go ahead and check out okay we're having a sale at Namecheap right now we're going to turn off the who is guard quick disclosure i am a Namecheap affiliate i'm also a get flywheel affiliate i'm an affiliate of several other products that may appear in this video and other content um and we're just going to go ahead and finish the checkout as soon as i accept Terms and agreements. Okay, so we use brackets. This kind of helps to just generate some notes. We do this a lot to help copy and paste and speed things up. And just in general, it's just good to leave a record of the things that we've done. Um, we're going to set the DNS for our new domains. We already created a demo site on Flywheel. It only takes a couple minutes. Um, we left that part out of the video. So here we're going to add our domains. And so you just tab back and forth, copy, paste. It adds the www version automatically, and this is our primary. When we add the other domains as secondaries, they all redirect to the primary automatically, which is pretty handy. This is our IP address, which we are going to use to go set our domain records, starting with the .com. Now we want to get this out of the way early because it takes time. It takes time for the records to per, um, excuse me to uh, propagate throughout the internet. Here we go. Uh, a record, wildcard set. There's our IP address. Time to live is one minute. Now, that's the important part when you're doing a launch for something like this. That's how fast it tells the next server to change the record. For security purposes, we're going to change it a little longer after we get this verified. We're going to add the rest of these domains. You can see it adds the www version automatically. This is a secondary. I'm going to add the third one. OK. 
Okay. All right. It's giving a little error over here. It looks like it hasn't quite picked up the new DNS yet. For the primary, we're going to keep setting these, give it a little more time. Same with these, we just want to get these set and propagated as fast as possible. And we'll go back to setting them with a longer time. Again, it's, it's a security issue um, related to how how DNS works and how fast people can, well, basically try to hijack your stream if you or your traffic. Okay, so we are setting this similarly, deleting the final record. We're now going to go back to flywheel. Okay, we're going to set the SSL for our primary domain. We just want some basic contact information. This is a pretty cheap certificate, which again fits with the project. If you're running a more complicated e-commerce site or if you're doing anything at all with, you know, like branding, you may want a more expensive uh, security certificate, one that'll handle wildcards and has more business information that's related to you and your brand. Um, we forgot to turn off the privacy mode. Okay, so that's because we're brand new. We're already on my bulk plan. They usually have that on until you enter billing. We're going to retry validation. And before we do this, we just want to go to what's my DNS.net. We just want to check, make sure our A record is all the way propagated. And it is. That's why we do it. It's fast. Works pretty well, huh? Better than waiting hours upon hours. And this works just fine. We're going to now go get all of our social media usernames. And they're all available. And when I said all, what I really meant was we're going to get Twitter. We're going to get Pinterest. We're going to get Facebook. And I think we're going to pass on Tumblr. And before we do that, we're going to set up this email forwarder. This is a free service from Namecheap. Um, it took me a little while to figure this out. You just need to put in the first part of the email. And then I would set up a catch-all if you want to you know, collect emails for webmaster or info or any of the other requireds. So you can see here, it goes to Micah, and we're going to skip past this part because you don't get to see her personal email address. And you get to see me type typos instead. Okay, we're signing up for Twitter with the new email. We're going to get verification code. You may come back and get. You may find yourself waiting for these things from your clients, but it's better to get this out of the way now. Oh, Instagram. That's the other one we wanted. The other one. So we're getting all our namespaces signed up for. And it's, yeah, this is kind of the basics. So you, you really want your .com and your username to match up perfectly if possible. Um, sometimes it's taken, sometimes you know you just gotta get a little more creative but I think I think you just have to make weigh those decisions on your own and determine how much value those social media channels have to your brand. And there's always the case you know you could always potentially buy it from that user or make other arrangements later assuming you're a big success like you're planning. Okay, so I'm just finishing sign up, getting the password. No, we're not gonna save that now. Okay. We're using LastPass 
another one of our affiliated products. We highly recommend it. Um, we use the same bio for all of these. It basically just contains a couple of easy keywords and products that we're focusing on. We're going to follow some gluten-free stuff and people if we can find them. I don't, I mean, I don't know. We're going to pass on all the foodie stuff, I think. We're going to look and see. It's kind of gotten to be old hat. Gluten, yeah. Still looking. I think we're just, I think that's good for Twitter. Um, we'll do this again on Instagram. And we're going to follow a couple of these accounts. Okay, so there's our basic account. I don't know if you noticed this or not, but it put the name in as Sweets Winner, which I didn't notice until later. Okay, so, but here we are. We're moving on into Instagram. We can change the username later, and I'll show you how. For some reason, it doesn't allow you to move on, I think, unless you follow somebody. I'm going to hit refresh after I try everything again. <laughs> So, yeah, refresh. We are using LastPass to manage our passwords and generate them. And we follow Instagram. We almost followed Taylor Swift, and we just couldn't. Oh, that was close. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so there's the account. Got my username right this time. In search. It's kind of cool to follow hashtags on Instagram. And we'll probably come back and just use this to kind of find, you know, who's popular in these streams, who's posting to these streams. We may use these to embed in the website that we've built. So who knows? This could all be good fun. So we're looking at this, going to add a couple things, website, bio, Make sure we confirm the account while we've got the client here with us. Add the basic information. I don't know, I guess I forgot to add, or I'm probably going to come back and add the, uh, the bio description with the gluten-free cakes and crusts and whatnot. No, we're just moving on. Okay. Yep, looking good. Back to Twitter. And I still haven't noticed that I got the username wrong. And I, yeah, no reason to think otherwise. We're going to follow Udi's. This is something we get pretty often at the grocery store. It's really. Not bad, pretty decent. And I'm looking for some other follows. Not really seeing it. And we're back to Facebook after this. Looks like that's all good. So if you want to change the Twitter username, you've actually got to go into the profile and edit profile. In, by clicking on the avatar. You can, the one that you click on later when we... I'll show you. So we're going to create a quick page, business or brand. And we just added it as a gluten-free restaurant. You know, it's, I mean, it's a bakery, really, but um, gluten-free restaurant feels closer feels close to our market anyway. Uh, I'm going to skip this part so you don't see the address. We're skipping this part because we don't have the creatives yet. We're going to do that in a later step. And we're going to create page username. Hopefully we get it right this time. It happens to everybody. I mean, the thing is, it's just, it's a do-over. It's a big pain. 
Okay, so we've got our username. Got Twitter. And I think that's when... This is right about when I notice. Skip. No. We're in Bothell, which is kind of like Seattle. Okay, so we're looking at these pretty lame tweets. <laughs> I'm not going to send either of those. I think we're going to follow this one. And we're going to follow maybe another one. Okay, so we're looking for other things to connect here. It looks like it's pretty basic right now. Pinterest is going to be next. Tumblr would be probably the next choice. We're going to go ahead and create a business account. Again, we're not using Safari to manage these, we're using LastPass. It's also handy to share back to the client. When we set these up, we do it this way so that it's a seamless transition. We don't like to have um, assets that the clients will need later. Pinterest also lets you claim some other accounts, so we're just going to verify these now. The Etsy one we're also going to do now. YouTube requires a Google account, so we're going to skip that one at this point. But we are going to create the Etsy. It does kind of feel like it's the right market. And for some reason, this didn't quite get claimed. I think it's probably because we didn't verify the account with email yet. Um, not really sure. Okay, so, and skip, we don't need the button, we're gonna skip it. Pinterest also gives you some other features for your business, like verifying your website. Uh, we're gonna have to do that later. Um, we are going to move on. I'll take I took another look at the Etsy thing. Check out the profile. It doesn't really have anything here. We're gonna have to get back to all this stuff and setting it up after we get a logo. And we're gonna connect this with Twitter and You'll see when I did, I noticed that that's when I noticed it's Sweet Winner. So now we go back to profile. And that's actually, if you would have, if I would have kept going down, I would have found the correct one. You can't change it here. You have to go up to the avatar and edit the profile there. So that's it. Really came close to getting this 100% correct. And I did get the name changed later. But... All in all, this took me 30 minutes. We edited the video a bit to cut out some personal information and to keep this short. So I think we did pretty well. Um, yeah, we're going to follow this up with the, the logo and a few other things and making a landing page for WordPress. So I hope you follow us and subscribe. There will be more to come. Thank you.